Hi, uh, this is a quick preview on a library that I've been working on. It's called JWM. It's Java Window Management Library. And the idea is uh, it's kind of electron shell that creates a window for you and integrates with OS. And then you use some other library, for example, Skidra, to draw your UI in it or a game or whatever. So yeah, uh, but this is like utilitary and foundational, so not very useful by itself, but you can build on top of it. That's the idea. Uh, the current version is not ready for anything. It's just proof of concept right now. Uh, we just wanted to see if we can get the basics right. Uh, and then if we can, we can build on top of it. And uh, it maybe one day it will grow into something more interesting. And it seems we can. And I want to share with you today uh, some gotchas that we encountered in implementing basic window creation um, on Mac OS. It, it turned out surprisingly interesting. I hope you find it interesting too. Some examples of the problems that we had to solve, uh, the, the first one and the biggest one and the most noticeable one is resize. Sounds strange, right? So resize, like why would it be complex? And it is complex because it it is asynchronous. So like, in operating systems, there's lots of um, pipelines, there's compositor and lots of stuff that uh, delays your stuff before it gets to actual, I don't know, GPU and screen. Uh, there is a lot of intermediate steps. And because of that, it's very easy to delay your frame and not get it in time. And that creates visible artifacts because especially if you do rendering in your application and operating system does rendering and event handling in its own thread and these two threads can like not align and you can get noticeable uh, artifacts. All Electron apps, for example, have it. And Electron like kind of in a similar situation, right? You have to create a window, but then use not native APIs to draw content on it. So, yeah. And you can see that problem if you take uh, an Electron app. In this case, this is a screenshot of Visual Studio Code and you start resizing it. As you start resizing, you notice that on the bottom, on the right, there appears two gaps. And this is because uh, Operating system have already resized the window and can draw updated window, but application thread is not ready with new content uh, for whatever reason. But it's it's very easy to be not ready. Uh, trust me. And uh, yeah, and because of that, um, you see that so you see intermediate state, and uh, this is not pretty, it's quite noticeable, it depends on application, some can hide it better than others, for example, uh, here in Visual Studio Code, they use the same color as a background, so you kind of notice it less in if you try to do it in the real life, but you still notice it, and uh, I can also show you uh, how it works in motion, so uh, this is Figma, which is also Electron app, so it's kind of the same. And as I, I resize this, you can see it doesn't use black colors, so you can see it uses white colors, so it's very noticeable, right? Another problem is, for example, as I resize, so you, if you look, uh, if you watch these buttons on the right, and I resize the right side of the window, you can notice that uh, the buttons jump. And this is exactly because um, the content in the window snaps to the top left and uh, but i resize as a, but in our case the right side should stay immovable so you can see that and you can see that in visual studio code as well and yeah this is pretty unfortunate and that kind of creates an experience when you uh feel that it's not a native app that it's slightly less than native app more sluggish more jittery so less well built and we don't want uh, that in our new shiny window management library obviously at this point i want to show you a demo uh, this is uh, jwm let's see how it looks and how it behaves so this is a window as i drag the left side of it, that window the right triangle stays in its place nothing 
can disturb it, right? So if, if I drag the right side, the left one stays in place. If I drag the top, the bottom one stays in place. If I use hold option and do this, the circle in center stays in place. So this is perfectly synchronized with um, OS Compositor, with VSync, and this is everything it should be synchronized with. So yeah, I am pretty proud of it. And it, 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 it creates, it just creates a feeling of a solid build application and it's nice to use. The second uh, surprising problem that we encounter is redraw during resize. This is, <laughs> this is very strange, but uh, apparently in macOS, um, there is, when you resize a window, the, the, your application gets into real special mode. And um, in that mode, you cannot receive any other events, but a resize. And this holds until you release your your mouse so for example here this is constantly animating let me see if i can yeah for example this is constantly animating yes and if i start resizing you can see that it stops animating right as i resize more it, it paints some more but if i don't move my mouse nothing happens and this is uh, the way event loop is implemented in jlfw um, you can implement it the other way and you can work around this problem. It was just interesting to find that this problem even exists. And uh, yeah, apparently it has some very legacy reasons to exist, but yeah, it, I was just surprised to, to find it. If you want to experiment, it, there's a very funny experiment you can uh, you can try. You can take a finder window, this is finder, right? And in here I can type anything I want. So. If you start resizing and hold your mouse, do not let it go, okay? And then try to type, you will see nothing because macOS doesn't handle events as you resize your window. Then you let go and everything appears. So it was holding events while doing resize and I don't know why, I have no idea why. It just was a surprising fact about macOS. The third, uh, problem is vertical sync. So vertical sync is uh, is a must uh, and most applications have it. Uh, I, by the way, yeah, I didn't show you that we handle repaint during resize. So now I'm holding my mouse, it's still repaint. So yeah, that, that works. Uh, vertical sync is a must. You have to like update as often as your monitor can show your updates. Uh, but not more often and not less often. If you update more often, you will just waste resources rendering frames that nobody will see. If you update less often, you will see stuttering, you will see less smooth animations and not native experience, right? Uh, so yeah, you should update exactly as we think. And I have a test here uh, that displays, you probably cannot see it in the window, uh, sorry, in recording, but in real life, this label should be solid gray if uh, your application updates in perfect sync with actual monitor updates with your physical device. But it's very hard to show in recording, so uh, don't bother. But yeah, vertical sync is a must. You have to get it right somehow. Most libraries have it uh, with a curious exception of AWT. I don't know why. My theory is that back then, there wasn't enough resources to do animations. So animations were not even built in into AWT or Swing. Um, yeah, that's why they don't have vertical sync. The first problem, switching monitors. Okay, let me switch to my two monitor setup here. Okay, now we, when we are in two monitor case, let me show you the problems you face with having two monitors. And uh, right now the monitor on the left is 120 Hz. The monitor on the right is 60 Hz. And as I move my window from the left, which is 120 uh, FPS here, you see it updates on the 60 times per second. As I move it back, it switches back to 120, right? Uh, so this is a pretty natural behavior, but uh, 
yeah, important to get right as well. Finally, multi-window vSync. And this is finally an interesting problem. And it is interesting because it is interesting because you have only single UI thread, but possibly many windows and monitors might have different refresh rates. For example, if one of your monitors have 75 Hz and the second one have uh, 60 Hz, uh, then on your UI thread, you will ha should have something like that, the sequence of updates, something like that. And most graphics APIs, they have implement vSync via blocking, like uh, when you done drawing, you just block until next frame. And obviously it wouldn't work here because if you have two windows, you cannot block one window until, because you might need to, to draw second one pretty soon, right? And yeah, uh, so this solves, is solved in a different manner. Here you create a thread per window that uh, monitors refresh rate and then communicates back to main thread and main thread finally figures out which window it has to draw now and draws it. And it seems to work pretty fine. So it was uh, tricky to get right, this part and the resize part, but uh, we seem to get it correct at least working, at least on my system, and I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, you can yeah, create as many windows as you want. You can share them between the multiple screens and they all update decently, let's say decently. Um, so yeah, this is it. Uh, this is JWM, a library for creating windows. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, stay, uh, subscribe, I don't know, for updates. And um, yeah, one day I hope we will get a decent uh, UI library for J JVM. Thank you. Bye bye.